Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish 2. So, uh, without further ado, we are going to tackle the next of the remaining areas here, the Erodico Ruins. And depending on how this goes, we might just head on over to the Kranus Claim. I mean, in some ways it would make more sense to to actually, uh, you know, finish the quests that I have complete, or, you know, turn in the quests first, so we get some extra resource production, because we're probably going to get another... Um, you know, monthly report before I finish these next two, but whatever, you know, not a huge difference. Um, you enter the ruin painstakingly, or a ruin painstakingly burrowed into the side of the mountain. You can't tell how old this place is. Very old. It's been abandoned for at least a century. A nearby sign identifies this place as Southern Erodico. The Rokash is a wild and violent place, but it is also it also values learning, especially learning of an explosive variety. You can sense the energy in the air, and the smell of alchemy still hangs in the air. Nice writing right there. Well, uh, this is a magical workshop, long abandoned and not properly secured. Um, a constant problem in the less responsible vassal states. Right, I'm sure that things like this has never happened in, in Haven, ever. Anyway, Southern Erudico, get permission before touching anything. Well, I think I have the permission. Okay. Got a closed gate here with no opening mechanism, and we immediately see some skeletons kind of T-posing here. Do they normally look like that? Hmm, can only assume that that is the case. Okay, yeah, actually weird. They were in some sort of default T-pose, and now they have their weapons drawn. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess we also have our um, out-of-combat sprites, and then the ones with weapons drawn. Anyway, uh, you have your bow out, which is actually uh, fortunate. So I hadn't really been thinking about it, but here we go. I mean, they can't be made... They, they can't be bled, so I guess it really makes sense to use anything other than Brutal Blow against bleed-resistant enemies, doesn't it? I could stun, I could weaken it, if I'm gonna use any kind of special attack. And of course, the enemy has... The opportunity to just dodge like that. All right, well, not an amazing start. Only snipers, huh? At least one of them was nice enough to approach us a little bit, but uh, yeah, this is just gonna be just gonna be annoying, isn't it? I, I'm never sure how far I can reach. Okay, I could take three more steps. One, two, three. But that would still not allow me. To hit this guy, right? To, to hit all four of these? Would it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Okay. In that case, I'm just gonna blast the first one here. You can get this one in melee. I'm gonna walk you there. In fact, we absolutely should move so that we... Uh, so that they are forced to, to walk around the corner here. Uh, I suppose Chip is uh, just going to be acting as the, the arrow sponge here. Not exactly well planned on my part. Yeah, you know, we're just going to force them to come on. Okay. I mean, this is not exactly going great, but, you know. Would you stop it? I mean, I should probably start over because this is just horrible, but... Well, we'll see. Ugh, dude. I guess they're all focused on him because he was the only one they could reach, and that's that's why the AI is fixated on him for now. Okay, we got a cleave. Oof, okay. This is going really poorly, isn't it? I am... going to blast them with some cold damage here. One ran away. Okay, fleeing skeletons. Now I've seen everything. Yield for 16. Mm. Oh, also running. Interesting. I'm gonna keep healing you. Huh. They must be scripted to run away after a certain point, right? Because otherwise that just doesn't make sense. Uh, definitely cannot reach him, so I'm just gonna 
run over there. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to be in line of sight, is he? No, surely not. Maybe for you? Nope. No such luck. Uh, heal yourself a little bit, I guess. I really don't want to have Chip drink one of his potions yet. You know, already. That seems like a waste. Yeah, definitely can't reach you. They must be scripted to run after a certain point and try to lure you into I don't know, something bad. Come on. Otherwise, this just doesn't make any sense. Really? Oh, annoying. Come on. Surely. I mean, there are no other enemies yet lying in ambush, which is surprising, and we finally got him. Okay. Strange. Also, there's something about this floor texture that does that, that makes the entire picture look extremely grainy, as, as if there's something wrong with the resolution or something. It's kind of odd. But okay. Um, I'm assuming that we got a point of energy back. Surely we must have. Okay, I'm going to heal him one more time. Uh, well, I mean, healer is at half energy, but I guess it could be worse if we can get some easier encounters and, you know, maybe get one or two energy back without really taking a lot of damage. I suppose we can salvage this one. Okay. All right, this one was closed. There's nothing here. Okay, that's some sort of mechanism. Let's look around first. Oh, this uh, was once a common room where the Erudes came to rest, play games and relax when not engaging in dangerous and unpredictable experiments. Um, most of their amusements have rotted away. There is a closed gate to the north. Interestingly, there is a pedestal next to it. There are no levers, wheels, or other controls. There are, however, bowls of colored stones on the pedestal. Some stones have already been set into its surface. Ah, okay, thanks. Oh, is this going to be one of those puzzle things that I vaguely remember? Surely. And this is the same kind of orb that we've seen, right? So I guess we'll just start loading up Ray's inventory with these random bits of loot. Ah, enchanted gem board. Okay. No explanations? We just... Um... What is happening? I can fill out the entire board like this. Surely that's not the point. I cannot click the middle. Okay. And that just resets it. Surely there must be some sort of explanation to this. Because it's not an immediately obvious to me what to do there. Okay. I was thinking that that might open this gate, which doesn't help us a whole lot. There are skeletons here. Or, you know, bones on the ground. It's not complete enough to get up and attack us. Okay, is that... It's stuck in its position, I see. That looks closed still, unless that didn't update. I guess it's probably worth checking. Okay, still closed. Right, okay, so turning this hopefully did not screw us over because it's not reversible. Well then. This looks pretty complete. Is that going to reform and attack us? When this facil facility was abandoned, most of the books and scrolls were carried away, leaving long rows of empty shelves. Only a few works remain. All that you can see here rotted into illegibility a long time ago. The library is eerily quiet and spider webs are everywhere. Hmm. Thick, fresh, sticky, ropey webs. Thanks for making that very clear game. Some of them still hold fresh rats. Sometimes threats are hidden. And sometimes they are loudly advertised. Yes. Awesome. Actually, what does it say here? Wheel and stairs? Wait, is there a wheel? Oh, we can't actually see that. That must be just outside of our field of view here. Yeah, I guess it's uh, on this little pedestal, right? Like, yeah. 
special floor like that. Gotcha. Another wheel. That's the one we turned. There are the stairs we can't reach. Right, and another wheel, which is not annotated. And more stairs, which we also cannot reach. All right, fair enough. So spiders, which we curiously still cannot see. Huh. Don't mind if I... Whoa, that's a big skull. No mention of that? No? Just normal? Normal everyday things? Skull of Mercy. Uh, is that... Yes. Powerfully heals and cures, right. I mean, since we have multiples of these now, two to be precise, I guess I'm gonna give her one as well. Again, arguing that, you know, these two are more, most likely to survive encounters, because they're typically gonna be in the back and somewhat protected. Uh, you're completely unsurprised to see movement out of the corners of your eyes. Huge spiders folded themselves up in the shadowy spaces over the bookshelves. Now they are emerging, ready to ambush fresh prey. They are too dumb to realize that you are prepared for them. Okay. Well, I certainly didn't expect to see spiders here. But okay. Um, I mean, trapdoor spider, giant spider, yep, pretty big. And unfortunately, we have some behind us as well, but we'll have to deal with that. Um, you, you guys still have your bows out. In that case, I guess... Hmm. Should we focus on the big one? No, I think we take out the small ones first, unless they spawn more. I don't know. Okay, bleeding, 21 damage. Oof, crit for 10. Could be worse, I guess. It's going to be stopped by that spider. Okay. I can get these three, which I suppose is worth it. Well. Of course, missing is always always annoying, but... Oh, well. Maybe take out this one? Good. One less to worry about. Yeah, but, oh god. There are four of them back here. That is not amazing. Yeah, maybe you should deal with that. Help deal with that problem. Bleeding in 23, okay. Okay, the big one didn't hit as hard as it as you might have expected. Oh, she's kind of running low on energy as well. Hmm. That's probably not enough. You know what? There, you also help. Well, keeping the spiders busy down there. There's so many of them. Oh no, there are way more. Way more! Are you kidding? This is absurd. This is Outdoors Raiders level levels of absurd, and he's basically dead. <sighs> I mean, heal yourself. Healer, heal yourself and hope for the best. Oh god, 12 damage from that. This is nuts. I never saved on this expedition, did I? No, because I just wasn't expecting enemies down here. I guess now it kind of makes sense because this seems to be the way up. Somehow I thought the way through the library would, or some, somewhere in the back of the library there would be something. Maybe I could have exp I could have attacked these spiders at least. Maybe they they were hanging out in the back of the library and... Because this, just the sheer number of enemies here is, is nuts. Uh, you cannot move. Great. You should be able to reach all three of them with one of those area attacks, though. Okay. I mean, I suppose at this point holding back is not an option, so... Okay. That was some good damage overall, but yeah, well, that had to happen eventually. Surprised it took this long. Dude, I don't know. I mean, this is obviously a lost case. It's just way too many spiders. I really don't know what the game was thinking. Unless, of course, there is a way to reduce their numbers first. I mean, that is satisfying, but, uh, you know, too little too late, nonetheless. And he's not gonna die. Well, I, I don't know why I even 
keep keep playing at this point, but what? Oh, right, using using the potion and drinking uh, and, and and swapping weapons, obviously. Used up all of his action points. There, do the same thing again. And I suppose technically I could even. Hmm. Technically I could even. Uh, revive. But, I mean, that doesn't really seem worth it. Well, she's gonna die from poison, isn't she? Well, wait, doesn't she have a. Oh, she, she sure does. Okay, just never put it here. There, drink one of those. And then I guess since, obviously at this point, nothing matters anymore, you drink a potion as well. And uh, do nothing because you don't have your bow out. Well, and you can't move. Bitten for nine. And for five. Because why not? Can you move? No, you can't. 24 damage. What? Wait, it's bleeding, but it only took the damage after moving and attacking us? Well, that's wonderful. Are you gonna die from poison? Yes, yes you are. Okay, cool. I mean, I could have... I was considering just hauling my, <laughs> my sorry corpse out of this place and trying again, and this time, I don't know, would we have been able to bypass any encounters? Maybe. Well, either way, that was... Oh, I did save here, at least. Okay, good. Yeah, I suppose that, that was after the first encounter, so really, everything else was just exploration. Never mind. I could have sworn I was... Uh... Um, yeah, <laughs> that I had just completely completely forgotten to to heal, uh, to, to heal, to save. I have apparently, once again, forgotten how to talk, but that's nothing new. Amethyst orb, right, that goes to you. This thing... No levers, wheels, or other controls. Surely there must be a book explaining how to do this in the library, right? This does also seem like it's actually just for extra treasure. Unless there's something over this way? No, that seems blocked, okay. Right, so, well, I will take a look at the library, of course, and and see if I learn anything useful there. No spiders, huh? No such luck. Or any books, for that matter. I mean, they did say that the library was basically completely, um, you know, evacuated. Okay, that's not good. Surely we, we will learn what to do here, though. Right? Or is it something obvious? I mean, is it? Obviously, there doesn't seem to be a fail, you know, um, a, um, a lose condition, loss condition, failure condition, whatever. I can activate either of these types of orbs and then just place them freely wherever. So, I don't know. <laughs> Make a nice pattern like this. Wait, that's not, oh, I can't remove them even. I don't know, I'm just gonna randomly, wait, actually that doesn't really, huh, yeah, that doesn't work, not quite, I mean, oh, you can't even replace them for what it's worth, I mean, but it, yeah, it's just pointless, it seems to be broken, honestly, I mean, something, surely something more should be happening at some point, anyway, let's see if we, we might be able to Hold up in here, perhaps? Hmm. Where did all the spiders come from? Well, basically from all around us, but... <sighs> I mean... The game does give us one of these. Heals and cures. I mean, we could actually just use one of these, perhaps. I also want this, of course. Save here, so I want to say that they popped up as soon as we stepped through here, right? Ah, oh, okay. Hmm, 
I mean, only one of them did right now, so that's nice. Yeah, you're gonna be stopped by that one. Oh, right, there's another one. Oh, and there's the big spider, I, I see, okay. So it just spawned down there, and last time it just, they just got their turn immediately and used that to run up here. I mean, since we now know that there, that the vast majority of spiders are going to be coming from up north, we should probably just place our two fighters up here and uh, try to hold them off there. That does seem to be like the best approach. Yeah, let's let's try that actually. I don't know. I was thinking of maybe running away to the south and I mean technically maybe if we could kill the big spider fast enough we might be able to make it to the stairs and somehow reset the encounter or something but that's obviously a little bit you know exploity and okay surely not the the intended solution so we're gonna step here and nothing will actually happen oh Okay, you had to step further than I expected. Right. You can still shoot the spider from there. You can buff us all. Obviously something I did not do last time at all. Okay, we have a lot of these spiders coming already. So much for blocking off this doorway, but I mean, it still kind of works. I'm gonna switch your weapon. Stab the spider. You're gonna switch your weapon as well. You could hit three with an area attack, but I think for now I'm gonna start with the the first feint. Okay, take out that one. Nice. Off yourself. You know the big spider is coming from the south. Maybe you guys can. Check out this one for now. <clears throat> right, there come the, the trapdoor spiders. No, giant recluse, whatever. These are trapdoor spiders. Um, just attack. You as well. Okay, at least the big spider is actually unable to reach any of us and seems to not have moved at all. That's actually good. If we can just keep them down here, we'll see how that how that works out. Um, yeah, just uh, help with these for now. Yep. Now you're getting bitten. Block the damage, but we did get poison. Yeah, of course they're able to sneak through here. Okay, the big spider is. Uh, staying away though. That is good for us. Hmm. Are three good enough? Sure. Can do one of these. Some really nice damage. Actually, uh, yeah, the door frame is going to make this awkward again. Won't be able to hit nearly as many as I otherwise could. We should be able to actually kill one of these, and the giant spider should still not be able to squeeze in here to attack anyone. Really, you're not dead. Or bleeding. That's unfortunate. We did evade two attacks, though, so that's nice. Three attacks. I'm gonna switch your weapon and allow you to finish off the spider in melee. I'm gonna... Oh wait, it's uh, that is not chat. Yeah, in that case, uh, finish up the spider with a critical. What a waste! But oh well. And that's a miss. I think this might actually be all the spiders up here. Huh? Yeah, this is. I mean, once you know what's coming, it's obviously a lot, a lot easier to, to be prepared. And to you know, not be overwhelmed 
even though well it, it just feels like there were less <laughs> way less enemies to deal with now but um, yeah that's just how it is sometimes nice cleave very good okay you are gonna start healing now Keep everyone's health up I'm probably gonna just do one more oh god he's almost out of energy that is really sad we might actually regain up to two energy after this fight with any luck just from the sheer number of them so that's nice if that ends up working that way ah so close I should have be less should have been less stingy and used to shock but oh well evade it very good Okay, nice. Now is the big spider gonna come? Yep, sure enough. However, we can actually deal some damage while it's on the way. Okay, good. And actually, with any luck. Well, we're probably not gonna kill it before it reaches us. Not pretty close. Ah, and of course it uses its first and only opportunity to attack to do that. Yeah, can't really blame it. Okay. Weakness came too late, unfortunately, but there we go. Yikes. That was not nice, and there is an upper floor to this, so yeah, surely this was not the end of this dungeon. Should I keep missile weapons out for for default? Not actually sure. You are going to do one of these because everyone needs the healing. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Was I at no? There we go. Wait, no. <laughs> I was at was on my range weapon. There we go. Yeah, of course, yellow is currently currently selected. I just cannot look at my sprites and and figure out what's what. Three energy, very good. So actually, we must have been really close, like one enemy off, uh, of recovering one extra energy after the skeletons, and then this spider fight was enough of them to give us two naturally. Nice, very good. That does me make me feel better. I mean, he's still down to three, but I mean, we are done with this encounter. Actually, though, I mean, he has his potion. Yeah, we kind of have to heal. That was only eleven. That's not amazing. I'll save though. You know, it's what it is. Scroll of Might. Powerfully haste and blesses. I mean I suppose I could have saved two two energy by using one of these, but Well, then again, I still have this for a future encounter, right? So if I don't absolutely have to use it now. Why should I? Scroll of life, right? Um who would want to use this? I mean, maybe him. He has the the least potential uh, to deal to deal damage. So I guess if anyone early on in a fight can can you know afford to just use his turn use his turn to do something else rather than attacking. Hmm, where could this be leading? Uh, it's him. Okay, let's open this. Nope, never mind, it's broken. No convenient shortcut if we have to, you know, or if we decide to, to leave and return to this area. Frozen Spectre, hi there. You're by yourself? Charm resisted, that's a really good start. You have almost 200 health, but you're by yourself. Okay, 28 damage, good start. Of course, now I wish I had started with, with melee weapons. And I could always restart. But, um... I think we should be good. I mean, we're still gonna be able to deal damage. Just maybe not as much. Um... I mean, I could try to stun it. 
Actually, that's probably mental, so... Almost certain not to work. In that case, weaken it. Weakness worked. And a crit for 33 damage. Very solid. Okay, I think at this point we just keep attacking normally. Double weakness, very nice. I don't, don't know what it did there. Whatever it was, it didn't seem to work or do anything. Vulnerable and two damage, okay. Evaded. There we go. Okay. That was nice. Of course, only one enemy, so we didn't get anything back from that. The box is full of the abandoned refuse of the workshop. Broken flasks, scraps of parchment, a skull. There is also a single book bound in sturdy leather. This chest managed to keep it intact all of these years. It's called Erodico Principles. You take it. Some Havenite is sure to want to study the ways of the row. Uh, I can only assume that that was one of the books we were s we were asked to, to find. I don't think the quest lists them here. No. Surely it must be one of them, though. Good. Okay, so, I mean, even if we do have to retreat and return, we will not have to redo this encounter for, for what it's worth. Because uh, that book should remain in our possession. Small consolation, but, you know. Ghost Botanist. This cave was being used to breed strange, twisted plants. They are long dead. The pots are full of crumbling and rotted vines. Yet they are still tended to by one lonely shade. When you come into view, it lets out a banshee screech. You will not steal my secrets! Okay, not that I was going to. Or was I? Who knows. Hmm, it is by itself, for now. Okay. 12 damage and weakness. Could be worse, I guess. And of course, well, Atanto is actually within range. Chip is not. So, you will have to do this. Use weakness on it. Good. Well, use shock. It's really the most useful thing you can do, probably. Okay. Just shoot it. Ah, unfortunate. Well, use your self buff again. <gasps> there we go, of course. Lightning rats. Wait, what? Li lightning rat? Spider rat. What the heck is a spider rat? Do I want to know? Oh, there's stuff in the way. Gotcha. Well, you can walk around like this. Switch your weapon and... Try to weaken it some more, I guess? 26 damage, okay. I would like to maybe... take... One of these rats out of commission. Are they all the same? 60% mental resist. Hmm. So presumably, I won't really be able to terrify them, will I? 105 damage, oh, or hit points. That's pretty nuts. This place is just, this, just super rough. Okay, I mean, that's some damage at least. You know what? Drink your potion now. Might as well. And, uh... Just do a normal attack for now. We'll see what, this, what, the, what the rats do. With any luck, they'll come closer to make area attacks more worthwhile. Well, no such luck. Not really. Oh, this is not looking amazing. Weakness and slowed. And mobile, I mean, that doesn't matter as much. I suppose I could deal damage to both the botanist and the frosted rat. I could also renew my, my self buff. Wait, this one does not inherently deal more damage, though. No. Oh, okay. I see. I must have been aware, aware of that fact at some point. Hmm. 
Of course, this one does also not deal more damage, except when it hits multiple enemies, of course. Ah, it's tough. I mean, surely we're not gonna be able to to stun it. Maybe we can slow it, though. I'm gonna try the stunning blow. Okay, it is slowed. Maybe weaken it some more. Or slow it more. If we could if we could actually stun it though, that would be really nice. Might as well give that a try. And it evaded completely. Alright. We did two though, so that's that's good. Uh, just remind me. Wait, it's not the right one. I for use items. I mean I should probably use one of these. Question is, should I use it now? I think I'm, I'm gonna be good for a little while longer. Move over here. Okay, that was risky actually because I didn't know. I also wasn't really thinking about it until I clicked if stepping away from more than one enemy would sap more than four action points. But no, thankfully not. So that's a welcome change actually. That being said, oh, I never put your potion here. Cure yourself? I mean, you're down to 20. If you're attacked by both rats, I don't remember how much damage I dealt last time, but it's very possible that they will actually just kill her. So I'm gonna play it safe, I guess, and do that. <sighs> Attack the botanist normally. 17 crit. Ugh. Okay. Stunned. That's... Not good, needless to say. Come on, man. Uh, well, you drink your potion as well. Oh, she's really close. 13. Definitely within kill range here. But so are some of us, so... I think... I mean, I might as well. Scroll of Mercy, right? Yes. Okay. And the curing effect was kind of wasted. Nope. Would seem more, especially since it doesn't didn't actually take away the stun. That's unfortunate. Um, the curing, extra curing, would seem more useful in a situation where we're, you know, poisoned, for example, taking constant damage. But you know, it's what it is. You actually do this. Nice. The shade falls to bits with one final scream. The sense of malevolent magic in this part of the laboratory fades. It will no longer draw horrible creatures to it. There may still be monsters in other wings of the ruin. It will take some effort to reach those areas, though. A lot of the corridors are blocked by cave-ins. Right. Okay. So I guess that was the main boss here, but there's still... I mean, it seems like there's still a lot of this area left. Ah, she's poisoned. I kind of have to deal with that, don't I? Which one of these is closest? I guess the spider rat. That should also be the one that poisons, so... Well, of course, you can't really reach it. Well, you can? Oh. Well, you can step here? No, you can't move at all. Never mind. Well, in that case, just... Attack the rat. Probably should be using my special attacks just to end this as quickly as possible. Okay, I didn't see the animation playing there at all. That scared me for a moment. God, this is so bad. Don't kill us now, you absolute jerks. Okay. Stupid frosted rat. Nice. Good. Good hit. You still can't move. Okay, well. Not a problem. Just shoot it. I should have stunned it, actually. Oh, that might have been bad. She's not going to kill it. Nope. We did not die. That was not a lot of damage. Okay, so the Lightning Rat has an area damage for little damage, but... Stunning effect. Gotcha. Man, these are rough. Got one energy back. Which is enough for one of these. Well, I'll save that, I guess. Box is full of old books and scrolls, a cache of research notes and papers ready to be spread among the erodico of the row. They were forgotten here when these halls were abandoned. You pick out the ones that are still readable. Some member of the erodico in the Gentle Coast might be interested. 
Right. I guess that's what we were sent here to get. Costly Rodrigo. Yes. Okay. That's still sparkling because I guess these special chests that are. Oh, nice. A healing potion. <laughs> I might actually have to use that right away. In fact, I probably will. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess chests that don't actually contain any real loot will just continue to sparkle even after you interact with them. Which is, you know, it's what it is. Money, more money. Erudico rod, let's see, a two-handed weapon. Staff bolt. Okay, that is a staff, right, of course. Of course it is. 14 to 22. Quite a bit better than what she has. Also, a higher chance to weaken. Yeah, I mean, it's just a no-brainer. Right. Would you... Okay. That is still selected, whatever. Take that off first, then try to equip it. There you go. I suppose I can give that to Ray then as a tiny little upgrade, right? Horn wand, 11 to 15, uh, 12 to 16, yes. Plus the extra hit chance, which will actually presumably also benefit his bow attacks. So that's neat. Uh, right, this one does not have any slots because it's a special weapon. Right. Okay, fair enough. What? Oh. Ah, right-clicking just equips items. That is good to know. I don't know if the game ever told me that. If so, I forgot. Healing potion. Well, you obviously don't have one yet. But of course, right now you don't need one. I guess I could give you an empty one. The, the question is, who do I want to heal? Who is the most valuable party member? I mean, I would say the, the prince, if losing him actually... You know, it was a game over, but it's not the case, so... And right now, Chip actually has a little bit more energy to use. As does she, and she can technically deal some pretty good damage. Hmm. Tough. Tough choice. I could heal her, but no, I mean, he's the lowest... They're both low, but, you know... There. Take this... Give the spend potion to him, so he has one for the future. There you go. Gonna put that there. And, I don't know, I guess I could wait until someone gets damaged more and actually really needs the healing. Yeah, that might be the smartest move for the time being. Save the game after all this and turn this. Surely this will have opened some gate somewhere below. Oh, this is now open. That doesn't make any sense, considering the opening mechanism is right here. But the game told me that it was broken, or stuck. Well then... Huh, what's up with this? Is this maybe not a, a real staircase? Where can we go? Oh, I guess, well, no, we had tried that before. Hold on, did I try clicking on this? Okay, it is actually broken. Um, so, there's clearly more to this place. There are stairs leading up. But there was nothing else to do here, was there? This is just blocked, obviously. Oh, we can actually see the other side here. But again, of course, no no way to get there. That is stuck in its position. Hmm. I mean, I can try messing around with this puzzle some more. But I mean, what, what could it possibly be? Chat gem board. No explanation whatsoever. Nothing. Got only that very short paragraph mentioning it in passing. And then nothing more. That is closed. This is stuck. This up here is closed. Even though there's clearly more there as well. I feel like I must be missing something, but. 
And again, the, the game mentioned that moving around might be difficult with, you know, so much rubble blocking everything. And yeah, sure enough, it's not just difficult, it's impossible to get anywhere. Unless I'm specifically meant to leave this place now and return later. Which seems counterintuitive, because I have been told specifically that, you know, if I leave with enemies or treasure still there and I return later, that everything will be gone. I mean, there is, at the very least, this chest here. I'm going to double check just to see if there really aren't any readable books here, any book pedestals. Anything that might tell me about that type of puzzle? Did loot everything here, of course. Yeah. I mean, at least we did finish our both of our quests. That's nice. Hmm. I mean, it, it definitely feels like I'm missing something, but I absolutely cannot see what that could possibly be. Right? I mean, there are only so many ways you can interact with the environment, which is really only very few. And the only thing that's obviously something I might be able to do is this this pedestal here. I mean, what I will do for now, just to to make sure, I'm gonna save here, exit the place and re-enter, and re-enter. There we go. And see, I mean, obviously the enemies are gone. The chest is still there. Would it be gone, though? Or would it... No, and I mean, chests don't disappear, so... Also, this is still... Yeah, everything's still the same. Okay, maybe it's not leaving that changes things, It's maybe it's specifically resting. I guess that would make sense. So, yeah, sure. We enter this, now we rested, time has passed officially. We return to the ruins. Now this should be reset, if it was going to reset. This door is still open. The rubble is still there, the, the gates are still closed. I don't know what to think about this. That is still there, of course. I should have left some kind of item in some chest somewhere. Is this, I mean, this, these walls are cracked, but it's not like we can blow them up or something. Okay, weird. Really strange. There might be a follow-up quest, maybe that Erodico Scholar is going to tell us about this stone puzzle? Or something? Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. But it's just that, again, the game basically warned me never to abandon a mission. When there is still something left to do, any anything optional, I need to do on the first main run, or I'm you know forfeiting any potential rewards. And well, obviously, if nothing else, this seems pretty important. Okay, I hate doing this, but I just don't know if I'm missing something that I should be able to determine, or if the game is just not particularly clear on this. So I'm going to see if I can find any information on the stone puzzle, and if, if I see anything along the lines of you learn about that officially there and there, then I'm going to stop looking. But if it's just something that I'm supposed to figure out, then, well, obviously I'm not figuring it out. I, I mean, I looked at it, just nothing seems to happen no matter what I do. There seems to be no failure failure condition, as I said, so it's just weird. It, right now it feels like, like a, something more should be happening that is not currently happening, so it's probably the case that I am supposed to learn about this and return later. And this is the one exception, or maybe one of the few exceptions, where it's okay to leave an area and return later. Maybe. But just, just to make sure... Well, and most likely I'm not actually going to find any information, because this game literally came out today, so... Um, 
or yesterday, I guess. Well, okay. Um, actually, first of all, I'm gonna reload because I'm not sure if I did. I probably had reloaded before. Okay. Now, as expected, and I guess I'm kind of glad ultimately um, that I was correct. Uh, the game has just not been out for long enough, and you know these games never have a very large community to begin with, uh, and so I could not find literally any information on, on Queen's Wish 2. Um, and unfortunately, those stone puzzles in the first game actually seemed to work, uh, or to have worked, a little bit differently. So I couldn't find anything. However, I then remembered that um, this is very old school in, in um, that there actually is a hint book for it that is part of the, of the deluxe edition that I was uh, kindly gifted. So thankfully I had access to that. So, um, and then while there wasn't, well, I didn't read through all of this, but eventually I saw something on the topic of these puzzles. And apparently in the Tower of Erodico, you were supposed to be introduced to that concept. And there are some simple versions where you can learn how they function. Um, it's just strange that in the very first area, right, they just give you this without any kind of explanation. I'm guessing well, I, I did not even read fully, because I think I understand how it works, how it's supposed to work. So you have these colored gems, apparently, and you can freely place them. And the idea is to connect any colored gems, uh, you know, by having having some sort of connected path, connecting path between them. And uh, there are special tiles. And if I understand correctly, this one, for example, should allow uh, them to pass through, basically. So. In theory, all I should need to do is is that. Okay, just connect the purple ones and these stormy ones via that middle tile. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I guess if I had just messed around with it some more, I might have figured that out by complete coincidence, but that was not clear to me. It was not clear to me that the, the goal was to just connect them. But oh well, it's what it is. Also, I mean, this only leads to this extra treasure. Oh, unless there is more to it. Uh, this box is long, narrow, and lined with velvet. It was designed to hold a massive sword. The blade it contains is remarkably, is a remarkable trophy, a mighty two-hander. The strange metal reflects the light in little rainbows like a prism. When you look at the sword, you think you can smell and hear the sea. It bears a strange enchantment. It is an impressive weapon. However, it is also worn and chipped. It would have to be repaired to regain its full power, but... Uh, what smith in the Rokash is skilled enough? Anyway, you looted. Okay, this trophy of the pirate king Hamilt, brought low by the courage of the Erodico. Interesting. Uh, what's it say here? Oh, that's literally what the sign says. Right. Okay, uh, well, that makes me believe that I will maybe get another quest at the Tower of Erodico, sending me two various of their ruins to solve these puzzles specifically after I've been introduced to how they work. But again, that's, you know, that that's the weird thing that you know, this is apparently one of the one of the places that are the exception of the rule that you're not usually supposed to leave especially after having defeated them the main boss, right? The main encounter in in on a mission because that will just um take away all all extra loot there might have been. So in this case, this probably would have still be would probably have still been there for me to get, and I will probably gain access to these other areas eventually. I mean the game specifically marks these staircases here, which are currently not accessible. So yeah, okay. It's probably just a matter of uh, Yeah. Trying to do things before I was supposed to do them. But again, this this place is right here, accessible right off the bat, right? So, I mean, who would not go ahead and, and try to explore it? So, yeah. I feel like the game could have communicated that a little bit more clearly, perhaps, but it's what it is, and we are here now. Actually, I think these are enemies. So I remember running into them and getting my ass kicked after I was done with the uh, with this dungeon here, with the, the quarry. No, wait, this is not the one. It's over here. Right? Yes. The Dagon claim. Uh oh, are they coming after me? They might be trying to, but oh, never mind. Okay, they stopped. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested in dealing with them right now. Now the thing is, well, we obviously that obviously took a lot longer than 
these two dungeons here. So, so much for doing, uh, you know, two dungeons per episode, which would be nice, um, you know, because I would rather not have this be in a hundred episode plus playthrough. But we'll see. That might actually might actually be what it is, considering we are already at ten episodes, which is crazy. I feel like I only just started to play, but okay. It's what it is. Again, um, we are going to quick travel to Lascara and turn in some of these quests. And, yeah. We did not have a quest from here, did we? Pretty sure we did not. No, this is just a general. Right. Never mind. Do I find all of them? I think... Well, one of them was definitely in the tavern. That was this lady here. No. Was there? You're from the Kranos? Right. Wait. Did I not talk to her about this before? Did I not even specifically mention? I, I definitely thought that it was weird that I got a quest from each the Letha and the Daga, but not from Kranos. And I did encounter a Kranos NPC. So maybe I just never picked that last dialogue option, weirdly. Okay, never mind. <sighs> so have the raids caused you any problems? They have. I shouldn't be dealing with Havenites, especially ones of your rank, but I'm a traitor and we have needs. When the, when the raid started, we lost our mine. We have a claim in the gentle coast and it was taken. Yes. Tell me about your mine. The woods of the Kranas are angry. They have been cut and burned too much. And they act out. They attack us. Their infection has spread to our lone claim in the gentle coast. The Rokaj will not help us, not in a time of raids and possible war, but you might. Haven has the strength to restore our mind to us. Yes. Why should I be interested? Are you kidding? Um, well, where can I find it? Obviously straight to the north. Yep, north and a little west. Why should I be interested in this? Because if you restore our mind, we will give you a portion of its iron and other products. And other products, okay. We know Haven needs to rebuild. We can help you if you help us. Right, fair enough. Now we have that quest. Okay, I mean, again, we didn't need to pick that up in order to finish the area, I'm pretty sure. We did talk to you, right? Hmm. You caught the role of the Highland Savage, did he? Probably did. I'm afraid it's not my place to discuss politics, especially with the Prince. We're deeply ashamed that Row Raiders attacked you, but we small folk need to be careful what we say. Fair enough. Nice armor? Wait, was this armor mentioned? Did I not talk to these people? Surely I did. I mean, I, I do remember talking to both of them, mentioning his unpronounceable name and, and all that. Huh. Nice armor. Thank you. It's recent fashion. Wearing armor like this is a way of the Rokash to keep in touch with our roots. You note that the metal plates are very thin, light and convenient, but utterly useless in battle. Hmm. Why do you need to be careful with what you say? Uh, well, the gentle coast is not immune to all the savagery of the Rokash. There are some backward souls who want to be free of Haven's influence. They have been known to send Geldnas killers in the night. Geldnas. I kind of want to ask about that term, but okay. Uh, these are the sorts of savages who send raiders down into the gentle coast. Recently, I lost two caravans. Two murderers and thieves. You lost some caravans? Two of them. Oh. Another quest that I... Well, I mean, I'm guessing this is going to be another quest that I missed. And I was thinking, didn't I encounter some caravans where the game gave me a quick message pop-up but there was nothing to be done or something? Maybe that's something else. Uh, two of them, one going north, one going east. They vanished. No signs of where they were lost or who took them. I offered a bounty to anyone who could find them and the brave folk who escorted them. No takers yet. It's too dangerous a time. <laughs> where were they lost? One went east. Scavengers had re recovered some nice items from the Erodico ruins there. The caravan was going to pick those up. Okay, so probably pretty close to where I just was. One went north. It was going to the Kranas woods to pick up some artisanal grade lumber. It never entered the w never entered the woods. How do you know that? Hmm. Well, maybe because his contacts there said that they never met them. Um, how might one know that the caravan was yours? Each of the wagons has a quarter moon painted on the side. It is the symbol of my clan. I only say this to make conversation. I would never ask a prince of Haven to notice my small affairs. Right. He genuinely seem to, seems to mean this. Well, bad for him, because I definitely took notice. All right. Dogmaster Nanash. Oh, I definitely have a quest from you. Yeah, I found the contracts in Port Osborne. Of course. 
You give him the contracts. He inspects them. Excellent. In far better condition than I would have thought. That will be better for us all. Less arguments for me. Faster supplies and a safe port for you. The general offered a bounty to get the job done. I guess you get it. I guess you get it. He gives you a pouch of gold coins. You should find uh, more building supplies waiting for you soon. When Haven rebuilds its forts, it will be better for us all. Wait. Um... Okay, there are some quotation marks missing, but that's fine. Uh, thanks. Okay. Not a lot of resources, but I'll take it. And the money, of course. Okay. So, were there... Is there more than one? Oh, yeah. Ajaya and Umista are both in here. Right, gotcha. Uh, I've been to the Dagen Claim. It's free of raiders now. So, I've heard. The runner was already here. He takes a letter out of his belt pouch. I will send this back. You'll have stone delivered to your fort soon. Haven may be crushing us under its boot, but you know how to do a fair trade. Yes. Haven requires more stone? I mean, it always does. Ah, go to the Lodaga. Fair enough. Five stone and five wood immediately. Plus some more income, I'm assuming. I've purchased a lethal claim of ghosts. You tell the story to Anjaya. She listens, stony-faced, while sipping her drink. Then she nods. Good. I thank you. I will make sure that supplies are sent to your forts. I think you will find the payment adequate. You wait for her to elaborate in vain. Um, well, I could use more Quicksilver. Yes. Long pause. You stare at her. Finally, she adds, It is in the High Letha, north on the pilgrimage road. Right. Again, thanks. Five stone, only two Quicksilver, but, you know, it's uh, obviously a, a more valuable resource, so it's only fair. Okay. Now, where was that... Ah, down here. That scholar in the Hall of Learning, Crafter Home Maze, that wasn't... Oh, it was you. Okay, never mind. I found some books in your ruins. He takes the books, gives them a quick inspection, and dumps them in a burlap sack. Then he asks about the state of the ruins. As he listens, he shakes his head. As an apprentice uh, brings you a reward, a case with a scroll, Crafter Home Maze says, This is distressing news. I'm afraid that we must offer another bounty for anyone who can help us with these ruins. Oh, a, a direct follow-up quest. What else might I do in the ruins? I suspected that the ruins were infested. There are a lot more infested than I expect. There are a lot more infested than I expected. Records say that some beasts were being stored in the upper level. If they are still there, they should probably be destroyed. We will offer a bounty to anyone who explores the upper level, an upper level. If you get to practice your skills destroying monsters, consider that a bonus. Okay. Uh, there might be monsters up there. It's been a very long time. Who knows? Maybe all the slimes and enchanted spiders and constructs starved to death. Yeah. Fat, fat chance of that happening. Having, having happened. Uh, what should I do if I find monsters? Really? Oh, I'd destroy them. They're probably dangerous. And very angry and insane after being locked up for so long. Why did the Erodico leave monsters trapped and unattended? Who can say? I wasn't there. I have no idea what the Erodico, what the old Erodico were thinking when they shut that facility down. Does seem like the sort of thing we do, though. <laughs> okay, at least he's realistic about that. Well, okay. Coastal Erodico quest advanced. Also, did we just get something? Wait. Ah, no, that's the piratical sword. What? Fearsome two and blade of the pirate king. Old and chip perhaps can be restored. I mean, maybe old and chip, but it's actually pretty good, isn't it? Even as it is. Huh. I didn't expect that to be a usable weapon. I was fully expecting that to be. Um, fully expecting that to be uh, like a you know journal quest item, but no. Okay, um, it's it's not that much more damage, but it does have two augment slots despite being a special weapon. So I guess sometimes special weapons will actually have um, augment slots. Well, very obviously they do. Plus this gives. Uh, some extra hit chance, crit chance, and, and evasion. I mean, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Right. I'll not throw this away quite yet, because I have the extra hit chance in there. Nice, nice. Of course, I did kind of cheat my way to, to this a little bit early, because, you know... Well, I looked into the, into the hint book, but... Um, well, I would have learned how those puzzles work. Uh, as soon as I visit the uh, Erodico Tower, which was my plan to do, you know, as soon as I start... Oh, in fact, it's... Yeah, it's not even as far up the Pilgrimage Road as I thought for some reason. 
So yeah, I mean, that's a kind of a no-brainer to head there first, just to, you know, see what they what they are going to be able to tell me before I head into any of these other areas. So I would have done that pretty, uh, pretty soon anyway. So I guess I didn't really cheat too much. I feel okay about it, about that. Um, right, the caravans, the Kronos claim, the follow-up to this quest. So we're not even close to being done down here. Uh, also, I guess I will re return to to the fort. I guess I'm just gonna be freely quick traveling, not worrying about the extra time it might might use up. There we go. Okay, so we actually luckily got all the the extra claims unlocked, the extra resource production unlocked before this report. Some losses from theft. Um, yes, okay. Right. So that should leave us with enough to do a little bit with, to upgrade the fort, for example. Ex just enough iron. Well, it makes sense. We did not actually get the iron mine unlocked yet. But soon enough. I'll get this, though. Okay, immediate upgrade, as promised, I guess. Nice. Oh, right, fort dedication. That was the thing. Uh, that this does. You can now dedicate this fort to a sort of production. It can focus on knowledge, military production, or diplomacy. Each can be improved up to four times and gives you a different bonus. So there is a total of seven forts, right? So we can only get seven of these um, possible 12 upgrades. Hmm. Okay. Knowledge. This fort will concentrate on gathering magical knowledge and equipment. Your reserves of power will be deeper. Each level gives a 5% chance to retain used energy, and a 5% bonus to all status effects and heals. That seems amazing. Dedicate, dedicated to industry. This fort will concentrate on its workshops, helping them provide more and better equipment. Each level gives a 5% bonus to your hit chance. Oh, hit chance, huh? And increases the damage of your physical attacks by one. The thing is, there are already ways to increase my damage by simply placing... Barracks and yeah, I guess it was just barracks, right? Um, towers provide extra defense, and of course we can put runes into our weapons that help with hit chance. Whereas, you know, a chance to not use up energy—that is amazing. I mean, it's it's gonna be a twenty percent chance, I guess, once I dedicate it for of my forts to this, which I am definitely considering doing. Uh, the Dedicated to the row, uh, diplomacy. Right, uh, concentrate on working with and helping the local Rokaj, bringing them a share of Haven's prosperity. I mean, that sounds like the right thing to do, morali morally, you know. Um, each level improves our, your reputation with the Rokaj, making them more likely to help you. Hmm, whatever that means. That seems kind of, I don't know, hard to Hard to gauge exactly how much of an impact that's going to have. Provides a 2% discount to all prices. Hmm. And this sounds like it's less of a direct effect on combat, obviously, and maybe just having a certain number of these will unlock certain dialogue options or just quests to begin with, perhaps. Ah, uh, tough. I mean, I guess I want at least one level in each of these. I'm very tempted to get knowledge right away, but, you know, just in case this actually does unlock options that I would otherwise not have. And to demonstrate my goodwill, I suppose, I'm going to dedicate this one to to diplomacy. You know, it seems like the right thing to do. Now, is that displayed anywhere? Been dedicated, it says. But not to what? I guess I'll have to remember. Well, next time I upgrade a fort it will show me that I have one level in diplomacy. Okay. Cool. Um, right. I did want to do this. Maybe not necessarily now, but well, I'm here now, so let's remove this for two. We did make a lot of money. Nice. I should never buy anything again. Oh, just kidding, of course. Um, sell. I mean, I might as well, I suppose. Get rid of that, of that, and the spear. I could sell this, but surely there must be a way to restore this to make it, you know, even more powerful. But, well, not for now. We can get rid of those. 
uh, yeah, and this one as well. Nice. A little bit more space in our bags. Everyone has their one potion. Good, good. Um, might be able to do some more shopping, perhaps. But uh, maybe I'll do that off camera in between episodes. Uh, I really wanted to just go ahead and talk to our sage real quick to see if we can turn in that first book that we found and to verify that it was actually one of the ones that he was looking for. I've hunted for your books. I found the book called Erudico Principles. Harlan takes the book, dusts it off and flips through it eagerly. This book is a bit older. It contains basic principles of natural philosophy. Some obtained from outsiders, but some of their own as well. Most of this is known, but I think we can glean some new techniques from this. Thank you so much, Prince. I will see that this is copied and placed in the libraries of Haven. Oh, 40 XP. Fair enough. We did not actually level up from any of what we did. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, we're once again pretty close, though. Maybe close enough to level up from killing the enemies and that... Um, in the Kranos mine that we're going to be tackling next? Or will we actually? I guess we have a choice. We can return here to maybe finish off this place. And what was the other one, actually? Didn't we pick up something more? Ah, oh, the caravans, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, between these... In fact, I might just tackle this one first because this seems like it's going to take the least amount of time. We should have been to... Well, at least one of the locations already and that might give me enough experience to actually level up and well you know that's obviously gonna be an advantage when dealing with anything else so yeah I guess uh, in between episodes as I said I'm gonna take another look at at shopping opportunities here although obviously we're we can only place so many different buildings so uh, that being said I could well, I cannot buy this one. Actually, no, I can't buy anything because they all require some iron. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. But even then, I mean, weaving room is going to give me access to something, to some cloth armor. Right. I mean, I suppose some minor armor upgrades for, for our mages wouldn't be terrible, but it's also not a huge priority. Right. The guard tower would be nice for damage reduction, but yeah. We'll have to wait for... Well, we'll see how much how much uh, iron we're actually going to be left with after the next uh, cycle, the next month passes, and whether I'm going to go for well, we should be left with two extra, right? Because that's how much more we're producing now. So the question is, do I build a guard tower for the immediate effect? Well, or these two for another immediate effect? Like the small chance to not use up potions. Well, I'm, I'm going to make up my mind on that once the time comes, I guess. And yeah, maybe I'll look, take another look at what is available for shopping right now. I don't think there is a whole lot. Um, either way, we're going to be doing the next couple of quests next time. All of these uh, basically unexpected recent discoveries. Really, really glad I had just happened to talk to some of those NPCs again. Now, of course, I'm wondering if there there are any other quests that I might have missed, but uh, surely not, right? I mean, there was the mystery of not having a quest for this. Um, so that one I have been wondering about, right? I guess the follow-up to this... I was expecting a quest, another quest for the Erudico Ruins from the tower, but, you know, a follow-up to the one that sent us there in the, big, in, the, in the first place makes sense and, you know, isn't too big of a surprise, I guess. And then, of course, we have the the extra minor quest of these caravans. Well, anyway, long story short, more of that next time. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.